Welcome to the warm-up today. We are at Macomb High School to talk about the Panther football team. I'm Mark Coons. Matt Finkel will be joining us momentarily. But first, let's talk a little football with the Panthers head coach, Chris Algeen. Chris, as we are just kind of talking, it's been uh, you're the dean of the BVC, I think, at this point, it's going into your 17th year as the head coach. Yeah, it's, it doesn't seem like it. Time's, time's flying by, and, and uh, I can't believe it's been – this will be my 17th year as head football coach, and uh, I've been here 25 years now. This will be my 25th year at Macomb. Speaking of the Blanchard Valley Conference, obviously one of the big themes this year at the BVC is adding in North Baltimore, Hopewell, Loudoun, and Riverdale. Hopewell, Loudoun, a traditional power, but they're only coming off a 5-5 five and five season. What do you think those three schools are going to bring to the conference? Oh, I think, uh, you know, competition and, and uh, it's going to be – you know, new life. Uh, the hard part for us coaches, it's a new challenge, but it's also hard because, you know, not sure what they're going to run. I know Riverdale has a new coach this year, um, so I'm not sure what they're going to do as far as on offense or defense. Uh, Hopewell Allen's been a traditional powerhouse. Coach Nutter does a good job with them over there, so he always has his teams, you know, prepared. So it's going to be different. I mean, it really is for the kids and for the coaches and, and around the league. And also what that means from a scheduling standpoint is you don't play all the other BVC teams anymore. You kind of can split the schedule and have some of the upper half of the BVC in terms of size-wise play each other and the smallers play the smallers. Right, yep. And, and we've got, uh, I guess we're in the upper division, so we're playing – you know, a lot of the, the bigger schools or, uh, you know, the, the Hopewell Loudons, the Liberty Bentons, Arlingtons. Uh, you know, we have Van Buren on our schedule. We also have uh, Lipsick on our schedule. So uh, it's going to be a tough road, tough road. So every week you got to be prepared, ready to go. And then week two, a little bit of a unique situation where you're playing Pandora Gilboa, but it's not a conference game. Yeah, not a conference game. Um, you know, they're, they're close by. It's always been a good gate for us. And uh, we thought we'd go ahead and schedule them. It's always tough finding a, you know, I think our AD, it was tough finding a week two opponent. And, and we just decided to go with it and see how it goes. And another layer of intrigue to that matchup with the Panthers and Rockets, one of your former assistant coaches yeah. is Chris Myers, the new PGA yeah, head he, coach. Yeah, he took over there uh, as a head football coach, and he'll do a nice job over there. So that's going to be different seeing him on the opposing sideline versus, you know, I coached Chris when he was in high school, and then he was an assistant for me. So uh, that'll be sort of a neat situation. And then you also lost Nate Westenberger. He's now Corey Rawson's head coach. So your assistant coaches are a little bit different this season. Yeah, this year uh, we have one returning. I think we lost a total of five uh, uh Eric Brickman, he went over to Lakota mm -hmm. as a head football coach. So we have three, three former assistants that are now head coaches. So hats off to those guys. I wish them luck. Um, but a new staff, you know, new ideas. And uh, I've been busy this summer trying to coach them up <laughs> and, and what we do here at Macomb and trying to get them familiar with our program. When other schools start picking off your assistant coaches, that's one of the signs you're a successful program and certainly four straight playoff appearances, seven of the last eight years, 11 of the last 14 you've been in the postseason, including last year. What do you got coming back this year? Obviously, we know you've got uh, Clay Grubb back at quarterback. Yeah, we have Clay Grubb back at quarterback. Uh, Jordan Overton, our defensive end, was a three-year letter winner. Uh, Matt Catalines, a three-year starter. He's back on the offensive line and defensive line, along with Gabe Rader was a returning starter last year. Uh, Noah Del Serta, he's a returning starter at uh, linebacker and also offensive guard. And then Trey Haynes, another senior, he's a returning starter. Uh, his season was cut short last year. We had a shoulder injury, but he's recovered from that. So we only have uh, six seniors uh, returning. We got a big junior class, a big sophomore class. So we're pretty excited about here, a little bit young doing a lot of coaching here in two days and, and trying to get them ready to go for week one. How has the summer gone for you guys? I think good. You know, the kids work hard. Uh, we had a real good weight room session this summer and, and our speed camps. And it's one thing about Macomb, kids will show up and they work hard and, and uh, you know, they're going to go 100% all the time. What is the biggest change you've seen in high school football in your, you know, as you said, 25 years here at Macomb, 17 as the head coach? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of times now, high school football, just trying to get your kids at a small school, get mm -hmm. them out. Uh, we see a lot more with, with jobs because they might have things to pay for and, and cars and stuff where 25 years ago, uh, a lot of kids didn't work or they worked in summer, they just played football, there wasn't as much to do. But, uh, you know, we try to get as many kids out as we can for football. We're not there like the Marion locals and the Delphi <laughs> St. John's and the Coldwaters, but, uh, you know, that's that's probably the biggest thing. And then with the summer, too, I mean, it's it's almost year-round. Right. You know, it's hard for kids uh, year-round to, to stay committed that long. And, and we were talking as coaches when I played. 
Uh, we had six captains practice since they started uh, right after July 4th, and then we had a week of coach practices, then two days. But two days was, you know, it was all day, and you were conditioning. You didn't have the seven on sevens and mm -hmm. the, you know all the weight room and stuff like that. So, you got a couple of weeks before the opener against Fisher Catholic. What do you need to work on the most before they come to town? I think defense. Mm -hmm. I think our defense, our offense is is uh, running pretty smoothly right now with the three returning linemen. And the quarterback back, and and you know a couple receivers and running back, so that's pretty good. Just defensively, um, you know Clay, Clay Lilly sort of taking over our defense and a new coordinator and, and trying to get the coaches on task. I, I pretty much can control the offense and call the plays and and uh, but just getting everybody on the same page and 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 I think speed. You know we got to work more on our speed and quickness at the defensive unit. You know we talked about a lot of new coaches. Is the bigger adjustment you getting used to the coaches or the players getting used to the new coaches? No, I think, uh, yeah, I, I think it'd be hard to coach both of them. Mm -hmm. You know, if it, going into a new system where you got to implement your program and coach the kids, where here we're bringing new coaches in, I can coach them up, and then they coach the kids. So I think it's easier, you know, coaching up the coaches, and and they're they're good. I mean, they're willing to listen, and I'm willing to listen. New ideas and how to how, whatever is best for the team. And they understand that. Chris Algie always keeping things fresh with the Macomb Panthers coming off a 8-3 season. Tied for second in the BBC with a 6-2 record. Need to take a break on the warm-up when we come back. Matt Finkel will talk with the Panthers here on W. Welcome back to the warm-up. Beautiful day in Macomb. Time to talk with some of the Panther players here. Joined now by three seniors. Clay Grubb plays at the quarterback position and defensive back. Trey Haynes in the middle, wide receiver DB. And on the end, it's Jordan Skilleter, running back and linebacker. Clay, we'll start with you. We've got a quarterback, running back, wide receiver here. How's the offense looking early on in camp? Uh, it looks really good. You know, we're fast and we all know what we're doing. Everybody knows what they're doing here. Trey, are you noticing the uh, camaraderie is a little better? in your senior year as opposed to previous years? Oh yeah, it's definitely a different outlook, but I feel like I'm ready for the leadership. Jordan, how are you uh, adjusting to Macomb and uh, being a leader on this team? This team works really hard, and uh, I feel like they accept me really well, and it's been really easy to fit in, and everybody just works so hard and gives it all. You just transferred from Bluffton, obviously, so your first year with the team. Clay, Successful program here, four straight postseasons, made it last year at 8-2 and two and then lost to Hicksville. How much does that loss sting? Uh, you know, it sucks, but it makes you want to do better next year. And Trey, are you seeing Coach preparing you for another trip to the postseason? Is that expected at this program? Oh, yeah, we always have that goal, playoffs and BBC, obviously. And Jordan, I know this is your first year on the team, but a different opener for you for the Panthers than usual, Fisher Catholic. How are you guys preparing for week one? We're just practicing hard. Our coaches know what they do generally, and they're preparing us the best they can, just like any other team in the conference. Clay, BBC is always competitive. You guys were near the top last year, losses to just LB and Lipsick. Are those two games you're looking forward to a little more than maybe some of the others in conference? Yeah, we're definitely looking forward to those games this year because, I mean, once, like you said, we lost to them and we just want to get back at them this year. Trey, new conference opponents this year in Hopewell, Loudoun, and Riverdale. What do you know about those teams? Well, past couple years we've always scrimmaged them, so we're pretty familiar with them. Jordan, what would you say the strengths of this team are? They work hard. Everybody works hard. They, they don't quit, and they all have heart. Um, they're going to be tough in the fourth quarter. They don't give up. And Clay, Coach Algie's been here for 17 seasons now, so the program's well established. But three new assistants this year as some guys left to take head coaching positions. How has that changed camp a little? Uh, it seems like not only are we teaching the players now, but we're also helping our coaches out. Like We're letting them know what they got to do, how to coach us. So, Trey, is that weird for the seniors kind of be coaching the coaches while the coaches are coaching the uh, seniors? Yeah, it's always a little different, but it's nice to help out. All right, time for a break on the warm-up. When we return, more Macomb Panthers join me to chat. <music> All 
Third down on the warm-up from McCone. Three more Panthers joining me now. We've got Matt Cataline, defensive tackle, left tackle, a senior Gabe Rader in the middle, also on the line, and Jake Duvall, another senior, plays offensive and defensive line on the end. Matt, let's start with you. You guys are in the trenches day in and day out in camp here. What, do we, what can we expect out of the offensive line this season? Oh, it's going to be powerful. It's going to, it's going to be fast. We're working hard. Gabe, how important is it to win the line of scrimmage on every play? It means the game. If you don't do it on the line, they're not going to get it done in the backfield. Jake, you transferred from Finley. Yes, sir. How has the senior class accepted you here, and are you fitting in right away with the Macomb Panthers? Yeah, they, ex they accepted me pretty well. Started to fit in day one. Everybody works hard here, so it's a good program for sure. Matt, what's your favorite thing about playing for Coach Algie? Oh, that he loves to coach you. He'll he'll get everything down, and he'll make sure that you know what you're doing and what your job is. Hey, Gabe, same question. What do you like about playing for a coach? His dedication. He loves working with kids, and he's just a good coach. Jake, moving into a different conference from when you played at Finley, now the yeah. BBC, what do you know about the Blanchard Valley Conference, and who are some of the games you're looking forward to? Um... I know that there's a lot of good teams in the BBC. Uh, I know two teams I'm kind of looking forward to play in are uh, Lipsick and LB. It's always a good rival out here. So, to both losses last year for you guys. Does that, does that motivate you a little more to get back out against those guys? Oh yeah, we're going to work hard every game. We're going to put it all on the line, and we're going to work hard. Gabe, will there be a difference taking on the Eagles in Week 10 as opposed to Week 1? Well, we'll get them at their best, and they'll get us at ours. And Jake, Riverdale and Hopewell Loudon are joining the conference, and I know, again, the conference is new for you, but what do you think the expanded the expansion will do for the BBC? Will it make it more competitive? Yeah, I think it will. It's more of a variety, more people to play against. It's not the same thing every year, so I think it'll be good. Matt, let's talk about the senior class a little. It's only eight of you, but is it a tight-knit group? Yeah, it was like we all work hard, and we're all pushing each other to – do our best and just get things done. Gabe, it's a young team. What are some of the ways the seniors are taking on leadership roles and instilling the Macomb way in the younger guys? Um, making them step up, work hard. We've got some unfilled spots and we're having them fill those. So. And Jake, what's the one thing that you think Macomb needs to improve most upon before week one? Um, honestly, as of now, I think all we need to really do is work hard. We've been working hard through camp. There's not really anything we really need to fix. I mean, it's a good working team. That's good. Ready, good. Ready to go now. Matt, would you agree? Do you think there's one thing you can pick up, pick out that needs improvement before week one? Uh, just like Jake said, honestly, we're all working hard, working fast. So I don't think there's much. Macomb in mid-season form here in training camp. That does it for this edition of the warm-up. Thank you to all of our guests and Coach Algie. For Mark Kutz, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on WOSN.